Well, hi there. I heard you want to learn how to make your own Minecraft skins. Well, I'm going to show you how today. Hello and welcome. My name is Doodle Machine. Thank you for joining me for another technique discussion. I do uh, art videos and tutorials for art, um, but I'm also a Minecraft guy. I love Minecraft. I've been playing it for years. I run a texture pack for Minecraft called Jollycraft. So if you're on the Bedrock edition of Minecraft, you can go to the Minecraft Marketplace, search up Jollycraft. You'll find all sorts of my stuff there. My texture pack is there, and I also make a ton of skins as well. And of course, if you play the Java version, just go to jollycraft.com. You can download the texture pack there as well. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make your own skins using Photoshop or any image editing program um, and a program called Blockbench for viewing your skin model as you work. So let's dive in. Okay, so there's a few things you're gonna to need to make your own skins. You're gonna need some sort of a image editing program. I'm gonna be using Photoshop, but you can use a free program like GIMP or Krita, any good image editing program will do. You're gonna need a program called Blockbench, which lets you view that 3D model. And you're gonna to need to download the model from the Microsoft website. And you'll also need a skin template. Now, the ones I'm gonna be using, I've linked in the description below. These are my skin templates that I made and they do the job well for me. You can use any skin template you find. It just shows you where the different body parts need to go. Okay, so um, this is the Blockbench website here. You can download the uh, version or you can actually open it right in the um, right in the browser. I'm going to download it because I think it's a little bit easier to work with and it automatically live updates the skin as you work, but you can use the browser version if you prefer. You'll also need the model that you can download through the Minecraft website, the add-ons website. Just search for Minecraft add-ons in Google, you'll find this. I'll link it down below as well. And if you just scroll down here, you'll see, download the zips of the resource packs. Just gonna download that and you'll get the vanilla resource pack and you can unzip that onto your desktop right there. Um, don't forget to download the two skin templates. I'll link them below as well. These are my skin templates. And I'm just gonna create a folder here on the desktop called skins uh, where I keep the skins that um, I'm gonna be making. So let's dive into Photoshop. Actually, first, let's uh, open up Blockbench and we are going to open up the model for the skin we're gonna be working on. So open up the vanilla resource pack once you download the zip. And the model is actually in the models folder and it's called mobs. So when you go to open the model, you're gonna see a bunch of different models listed. There's a bunch of models for Minecraft here and you can actually use this program to edit any of the textures for any of the mobs in Minecraft and just kind of view the, the models with the updated textures on them. So if you wanna make a Steve skin, you're gonna to go to Humanoid Custom. And if you wanna make an Alex skin, you're gonna to go to Humanoid Custom Slim. I'm gonna make a Steve skin today, so I'm just gonna to go to Humanoid Custom, import it, and here is the model. There's nothing on the model right now. Um, we're gonna fix that in a second. You can use the right mouse button to um, move the model around and the left mouse button to rotate the model. And uh, there's also a, a bunch of other ways you can use this program. You can actually like um, change the, uh, the position of the character and stuff. I'm not gonna show you how to use this program entirely today. We're just focusing on making that skin. So I'm going to take my Steve template that I downloaded and open it in Photoshop. Now, today I'm gonna to be making an HD skin. So you can make a regular skin and just use the template as is. If you're gonna make an HD skin, you want to scale up the size of your document to be whatever scale you want. I'm gonna make it double size. So I believe, I check the size of my document. Yes, this document is 64 by 64. I'm gonna double that. I'm gonna go 128 by 128 and make sure your um, interpolation, your image interpolation is nearest neighbor because that keeps the pixels nice and crisp. It won't get all blurry on you when you scale it up. So here we are in Photoshop with my uh, image template. So just to show you quickly, anything that is the kind of darker color that you see on the character here, this is the lower layer. I don't know if you know this, but Minecraft skins, there's two layers. There's a lower layer and an outer layer. So part of your skin will kind of be popped up just a little bit. So if you have things like hair on the top, put that on the outer layer and it'll be stuck out a little bit away from the body. Um, just to show you the difference here, the lower layer is these dark areas and the outer layer is these light areas. 
Um, so just to quickly show you how this uh, translates into Blockbench, I'm going to, let's just put in some a little bit of a placeholder, a little bit of a skin color sort of thing on the lower layer and on the outer layer here, I'm gonna just put, for instance, if I wanted to just put some hair. So I'm going to put in some hair, just like this. Now, some of the skin templates have areas where they explain what part is what. Um, I've been doing this for a long time, so I don't need to, to bother with that sort of thing. But just so you know, the um, front face, the middle face, this is the, the front of the actual object. So the head, the body, the arms, these are all the same. The two sides beside that are the sides of the head and the arm and the body, whatever. The top is the top of the head and the very back is over here on this side over here so if this is my skin and i were to save this as a png file and i save this in my temporary little skins folder so over here in blockbench this area over here is where you're going to put the png texture that you exported plop it in right there and there you go you see how the skin the the texture that i was drawing in photoshop has been applied to the model only his head is visible right now because that's the only area that I've actually done. So let's go ahead and fill in the rest of his body. I'm going to fill in all these dark areas with uh, slightly different colors just to show you which body part corresponds to which part on the actual model. I've done this enough that I know this skin template like the back of my hand I can easily just start drawing right on the template and do exactly what I want to do. But it's helpful just to learn the the, the positions of everything to kind of kind of experiment around and see what changes you make here and how they affect the model. Just so you know, the layout of what we're dealing with this here, this is the body right there. And this is the left leg. This is the right leg. This is the left arm and this is right arm. It's a little bit uh, counterintuitive the way it's laid out, but uh, that's why I like to kind of just play around with things once I get a little confused. If I get confused, you can just put different colors on the different body parts and see how it changes the model over in your block bench. So before I dive in and start actually making my skin, I'm gonna show you how changing some of the stuff on the outside layer will have things kind of pop out away from the model uh, in block bed. So let's say this is the left leg. Let's say I wanted some boots that were slightly bigger than the actual leg. This is the outer layer of the leg down there. So I'm just going to put some boots on the little bottom part of the model right down here. There's one boot on that side. Let's save that and see how it turns out. There you go. And I don't know if you can see this uh, very well, but the actual model yeah, see how the boot is sticking away from the model? That's because we put that on the outer layer of that leg. So this is just a little example of how to actually use your image editing program to edit the skin using the template and bring that over to Blockbench. I think I've shown you the basics, so now I'm just gonna go right ahead and I'm gonna turn this into a skin that is gonna be part of my new skin pack that I hope to be releasing on the Minecraft Marketplace. The rest of the skins from this pack are screaming people. I'll show you one quickly, hang on a sec. Okay, so this is the actual skin. Um, you can see how it's uh, put on top of the template right there. This is how I like to work. I like to work right on top of my template. Once I save the skin, I can bring it over to Blockbench and here it is. <laughs> I love this guy a lot. Um, it's a little bit confusing when you see things over there, but once you get used to the kind of layout and position of all the different elements, it becomes really intuitive to make changes in your image editing program and then just see them live updated in your block bench. So you can see here with this guy, I have part of his face that's kind of sticking away from the body and his hair. So if I go over to my image editing program in Photoshop, you can see this is the way that the upper layer is kind of laid out. And it all translates to having things popped away or on the lower layer. It's entirely up to you. You can um, get really creative with this and do things in lots of cool different ways. So I'm gonna try and do something unique with this next screaming person. So uh, let's see how that goes. I think it's a good idea to have something in your mind about what you're gonna be, uh, the way you're gonna be 
organizing your skin and kind of the way you're going to make him look. What I want to do with this guy is I want to have the most of the top of his head to actually be hair. I'm going to have the eyes really low on his head and then his big screaming mouth is going to be hanging way down into the rest of his body. So here's what I've done for the hair. And what I would like to do is when I'm doing like a double layer hair, I'll put like a darker color underneath. So that way the lighter color on top kind of stands out in a different way than the darker color. So what I'm doing just as I work here, I am uh, quickly exporting the PNG file as I work and it automatically updates here. So I'll make a few changes in my image editing program and then just jump over and see how it works in Blockbench. And you gotta kind of get used to working back and forth between the two. All right, I think we're just about done here. And as you can see, I decided to make the character's body parts a little bit in a different configuration. Like I have the, the top at the bottom and it's just, you can really play around with this stuff. With Minecraft skins, the, the base model is just there as, as a rough guide, but you know, like there's nothing to say that you can't break the rules and do things in a new way that you've never thought of. Um, one quick thing I want to show you is um, you'll see that there are areas of this skin that are rather flat. Like you can see this girl's hair. Oh, by the way, I made it a, a girl instead of a, a dude. Uh, so I guess it's more of an Alex than a Steve. So you see the uh, areas that look kind of very flat and uh, untextured. Her hair here, for instance. What you can do, you can go in and hand paint them and I'm going to do a little bit more of that. But what I like to do just to the whole skin is give it a quick filter that's called a noise. So I'm going to go here, filter, noise, add noise, and I just play around with the amounts and it just gives it a little bit of a grainy texture that will um, make it so the areas that are entirely flat aren't so boring looking. Okay, I'm going to go in and add a few more fine details and let's finish this one up. All right, and I think we're gonna call this one done. Uh, here's what she looks like from all sides. Some long hair at the back, added some extra details, smooth things out a bit. So let's quickly just show you how to actually apply this to your character in Minecraft. I'll just show you the bedrock version really quick here. So in Minecraft, we're just gonna go to profile, gonna go to edit character. Once we're in edit character, we're gonna go over to the second tab, go to own, go to import, choose new skin, we're gonna select that skin that we just made. And you get to choose whether or not you use the uh, Steve or Alex template. Uh, we're gonna to stick to Steve because that's the one that we made this skin for. And there we go. I am able to use this skin in Minecraft. This will be my character. I made it myself and you can do the same. And that brings us to the end. I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed this. Hope this was helpful. Uh, I'm going to do a few more Minecraft tutorials. I'm going to show you I got a couple different things. I got some things on my mind showing you how to do, make different types of textures and things. So uh, make sure you're subscribed if you want to uh, stay tuned for those and uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of the video. Let me know. Do you play Minecraft? Have you ever tried Jollycraft? While you're down there, click the thumbs up button. If you like the video, click the thumbs down button. If you dislike it, subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. And as always, thanks for watching.